what is up guys welcome on back to cyberpunk 2077 and uh, i'm just doing a quick intro here because this episode um doesn't have a lot of commentary in it and the reason for that is i was playing this in the evening and uh in my gaming area it's my son and i play together and he was sitting next to me with his friends playing and they were talking a lot so i left the mic off because um number one they're in middle school and i have no idea what they're gonna say <laughs> not that i'm not that i'm a you know the most politically correct person but um you know i just want i wanted to give them the privacy and you know while they're playing because they, they were going to bleep and play in the mic because we sit very close to each other but uh, which I, I love playing next to my son but uh so anyway and in the future if you ever see videos where i'm not really talking or i kind of mute the mic which is a lot of them um because the time that i play is typically when he's on but um that's why that, 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 that's the reason he's sitting next to his friends playing communicating on fortnite or whatever they're playing and uh and I'm sitting kind of next to him. And, um, but anyway, I enjoy playing without a mic, to be honest. I like focusing on the game and showing you guys different things and all that good stuff. So anyway, uh, enjoy the episode. It's a great episode. And um, it's episode 31, I believe it was, right? I think. I think that the, last, the previous episode. Oh, no, this is the second episode of Phantom Liberty. So anyway, hope you guys enjoy everything. And uh, let's fucking go. She's not here. Means she's not coming. You seen the swarms Henson has out hunting? Might have nabbed her. Possibility. One that concerns me the most. I need to find her. You don't leave your people behind enemy lines. Could I still buy that fairy tale bullshit? Whatever happened, we have to help her. Listen, we had a calm night, but you gotta leave Dogtown. How? In a car trunk? Fingers crossed? Hanson's waiting for that sort of desperate attempt. Okay. Gotta be a way. Let me think. Know my share of fixers. Bet we could get one Out of the question. They'll hand me over to the highest bidder. Gotta talk backup plan. Not a plan. A man. The kind we need. Solomon Reed's the name. Seven years ago, he headed up our intelligence efforts in Night City. He and so me were a team. With the conflict over, he went into hibernation. So he's out there somewhere. Reed's a man of principle. He can't be swayed, can't be bribed. If there's anyone we can trust now, it's him. A sleeper agent? No shit. Tell me more. Unless that's like a state secret or whatever. It is. Of the false bottom drawer variety. Let's say you want to secure your interests on another country's soil. If diplomacy fails, you resort to other means. Like a military coup. That's one option. Solomon Reed is another Sure, one. Reed guy sounds like an ace up your sleeve. Could have played him already. Activating a sleeper agent is no simple matter. You'll need a dog whistle. What now? Don't tell him I called it that. It's a signal only Reed will hear. It'll be tricky. Huh. There was a secret comms channel accessed only from a Capitan Caliente nearby. The FIA used it before the war. The access code was... 0931. Got a bad feeling, V. Meaning an analog landline. That crash tear open a hole in space time? When sending sensitive information, you use the technology least vulnerable to interception, old or not. That Caliente should still be wired for it. Owner have a thing for antiques? He had a thing for federal money. And he might still be alive. Remember, 0931. Sounds way overcomplicated. Gotta be an easier way. We'll call the FIA secret agent hotline and dial his extension. No, this is the only way. Uh-huh. So what'll happen next? Reed will need to screen you. You'll show him this. It means you work for us. What the? A file will be created for you in the FIA database. Wait, back up. 
Tell me I'm a special agent now. That's right. But taking the oath make it feel more real. Seeing as we're on the same side, can't hurt. Oh, V. Repeat after me. I, V, do hereby solemnly swear. I, V, do hereby solemnly swear. To faithfully serve the new United States of America. Fucking pathetic. To faithfully serve the new United States of America. I vow to uphold the values set forth in the nation's constitution and represent its government with dignity and due diligence. I vow to uphold the values set forth in the nation's constitution and represent its government with dignity and due diligence. I pledge to defend my country against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Should this cause claim my life, so be it. I pledge to defend my country against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Should this cause claim my life, so be it. On behalf of all NUS citizens, I thank you. Good luck out there, V. And don't let the bastards nab you. You know, taking that oath, bad idea. Oh yeah? Some causes are worth pledging your life to, V. This ain't one of them. How'd you come to that? Cause with the biz done, their arm will still be far up your ass and you'll be a meat puppet. No, I was once a corpo jarhead, right? Practically dove into uniform head first. They had a real hard-on for the oath. Repeat after me, bloody fucking blah. But can't remember what I solemnly pledged to do. Sure you want to talk about this? Forget it. You were just do a chewing out. Don't mind me. What's your link to this area? This is Pacifica's bumping, thumping business heart, where the real deals are done. So, we finally gonna meet in person? I can say neither yes nor no. In lieu of an answer, I've new work for you. I hope you'll accept. One last thing. How you breach Dogtown's border, I'm not certain. Though, I suspect not via the main gate. Irrelevant in any case. I've secured clearance for your future convenience. Your name and likeness now registered in the system, granting unfettered passage over the district threshold. Talk again soon.
smoke. Shop with Ronald, Ronnie the Rust. We get the fuck out of here. Nah, moving Delta speed just lands you in shit. Favor here, favor there. Chumba, my ex-brother-in-law. He got the biz out here. I know the guy. Capitan Caliente. Guy clearly went down with this place. Stash house by the looks of it. Right. Let's see what's here.
Antique. Junkie variety. Wonder if it even works. a double cheeseburger while you're at it. Reed? Listen. Got no time to play games. 
Hello? Fossil's probably busted. Or you flopped the number. What the fuck do we do now? Who is this? Call me V. Andrew Jackson, basketball court. Daytime. Noted. Not exactly loquacious, our man of mystery. Could just prefer text. Damn sure I do. Ain't nothing without your help. Check out Ronald's Dream Stand. Our Balkan days friends might have their chip left. So I want everyone in their home to find six shots. Dunno, man. The fuck Hanson got against a plane? Had a bad day and wham, shoot that shit down? I don't know where that mofo. Remember them badges he strung up the last time he was pissed? Who? All those plainclothes kids. Good best seats in the house. Gonna be a game to remember. Johnny Silverhand. Basketball fan? That's new. You, you know what I mean. Another game started. One where your head's the fucking ball. He always said we could use another window. How do you mean? You're up against seasoned players, whereas you just stumbled onto the court. These are trained sociopaths. Pretend to be your friends while they fucking ain't. So go out and play. Just don't get played. Just come out and say it. You don't trust Myers. No, her type is all. Politicians? Worse, armed forces. Saying no to high-ranking cunts like putting your mouth over the barrel of their gun. Get shitty fast if you try to run. Take it from a deserter. Trust in a deserter? Kinda contradictory, don't you think? If you're gonna book out of the army, you gotta be honest. Admit he made a mistake. And that, dare I say it, takes fucking guts. Desertion is bravery. Now that's Johnny speak, if I ever heard it. Maybe a little. Sue me. One thing I did learn, caked in blood and mud. What was that? After every carrot comes the stick. Allow me to illustrate. Every grunt gets a rifle, flak jacket, and a bunch of promises. Comes a time you're out of ammo, Kevlar's tattered cardboard. And what's left of the promises? Fuck all, I'm guessing. Exactly. And that's when they reach for the stick they call values. 
getting shelled in your dugout. Tombs are taking refreshing phosphorus showers, and some officers ranting about loyalty and duty. The moment you stop shitting carrots and they wave the value stick, fucking run, rabbit. Run. Sounds like you got some shit to work through. Gotta face your demons sometimes, Johnny. Didn't actually have a problem with them. Till now. Politicians, military runners, intelligence operatives, and Colonel Hansen for dessert. All the rotten fish in one fucking barrel in this dog town. Don't turn around. Eyes on the court. Uh Hans, what you holding? Johnny? Who the hell's breathing down my neck? How the fuck should I know? Only see what you see. I see you holding something. Show me. Got this token. Mean anything to you? But I need to make sure. Keeps his cards close, this one. Who sent you? Rosalind. I don't know any Rosalind. And neither do you. Got a pro spy here, V. Is she safe? Hard to say. The longer we sit here. That's it. Dribble around him. Were you followed? Did you even bother to check? Take me for a fucking gonk? An amateur? You sure fooled me. But fine. That I have to do. Black Thornton Merrimack. On the street. Three minutes. Front seat. We better leave separately. Don't want anyone to get suspicious. You first. Don't want to be caught holding hands? Reed. Slippery motherfucker. What a fucking wacko. Like him already. Let's scoot. Hey. You see the guy I was talking to a millisecond ago? Big guy? Coke looking like he's planning on flashing some kids, huh? Hey! Shut it or get lost! With the right guns and dog man, every point duck ain't even hot. Game needs some damn rule changes. Blackthorn. Before we go, apologies for the precautions. I only ever risk so much. Sometimes it's just safer to shove the barrel of a Malorian between a Chung's ribs, even if he is on your side. It's nothing personal. No hard feelings, I hope. No. No hard feelings. It's all good. Had to make sure I'd have done the same. Is that so? You're not in the biz, V. Our biz. <laughs> what gave me away? You got into a stranger's car. You're lucky I am who I claim to be. I combed FIA data for info about you. Interesting profile. Snowman. Back at clan. No longer extent. Now a freelance merc. To make things more interesting, FIA agent. You received your commission last night. One thing eludes me. What drove you to get entangled in this mess? Songbird hired me. Know her? So me. Something up? We used to work together. I thought I heard the last about her, but... That girl's a magnet for trouble. Right. It's time we paid our friend in distress a visit. Address, please. Abandoned building on Crest Street, 8th floor.
You left her alone in Dogtown? Was I supposed to drag her along while cruising around? Mm. Actually, look, place seemed plenty safe to me. Safe? A derelict building in Dogtown. Just listen to how that sounds. Hold up. I need to take this. Why are you calling me on my day off? Last I heard, you're the manager. Ask Bob. He owes me a favor anyway. Yeah, well, tough nuts. You'd have to manage without me. Boss, man. I work the door at a club. Selection, you know, bouncing. FIA special agent, bouncing away time at a club. The job attracts ex-cops and commandos, too. I know a few. They're a tough bunch. Trouble. Easy to blend in with over beers. We have company. It's some crime. Damn it! Hatches, goons! Here we go! They're done for. I'm empty. Need a reload. Have some of this. They tracked me. Party matters now. Let's hope we're not too late. Uh oh. Oh, fuck. They beat us here. Fucking preen. Follow close behind.
a friend? Yeah. Friend. I'm sorry. Some things never change. What? Wherever she goes, people get hurt. Bodies drop. Must have tagged it. The South Metro cam feeds. A mistake. Happens to everyone. <laughs> Let's hope we can correct it. <laughs> If anyone had tried to extract her forcibly, this whole level would be in shambles. No way Open she would have gone quietly. Me. Is this how you greet me? Uh... Sorry. Roslyn, are you alright? I'm fine. But I heard shots. Jacob and Taylor. They tried to defend. We arrived too late. Shit. Remembered my number. Some numbers you never forget. Level with me, Rosalind. You never intended to call that line. Well, I found myself in Night City with a bounty on my head. So it seemed the right moment to reach out, have a tete a tete, reset an old friendship. I'd offer to sit down and chat over coffee, but the clock's ticking. I need to arrange a passage for you to Washington. No, Reed. We need to talk first. All three of us. Here. The President, a merc, and a special agent walk into the Oval Office. Question is, where do I fit into this joke? You've seen the news. Uh-huh. Hansen's spin work never fails to amuse. He's not acting purely on his own initiative. Someone from our camp's propping him up. Hanson, any idea who he's in bed with? Rosalind has more enemies than you can count. This shit runs deeper, Reed. I wasn't alone on that flight. I heard so me was on board. Where is she now? V was the last person to talk to her. The most likely scenario. Got caught in some ice in the combat bob when she hacked it. One little mishack. Happens even to the best. But no way to know for sure. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, we need hard evidence, not speculation. Reed, I needn't remind you what this means for the NUS's national security. Besides, she's your prodigy, Saul. You taught her all your tricks. Hell, even recruited her. She and V have a unique... Uh, bond. It's a lead. Our only one for now. You two have to find her. Together. I already died for the cause once. Not enough? What do you mean, already died? What has my eyes told you about me? Said you led an intelligence cell here. Went into hibernation at war's end. So she omitted the fact that Arasaka tried to smoke me. <clears throat> and that I ended up in intensive care with three bullet holes. That six months had passed before I could take a shit on my own. Huh. Might have slipped her mind. Convenient. Well, now you know. Look, every moment we spend pouting here, our chances of finding Somi alive drop. Hard. Barely know you, but you don't seem like a chum who'd leave their agent out to dry. She won't survive without backup. Don't know me well, but well enough, I guess. 
I wouldn't. I'm here. I'll help. But I'm doing it for Tommy. And my country. Call me naive if you like. As for you, V. You said in the car Songbird hired you, correct? I don't know how much he's paying, but you better ask yourself, is it worth it? Songbird's my only shot at surviving. Got Arasaka's relic in my head, slowly, surely poaching my brain. Seems we're all on the same page now, V. Which means we can help each other too. Agreed. Think so too. If we want to find Somi, we got to dig deep. I mean, actual reconnaissance. No stone unturned. We need contacts, informers not afraid to sing, who might see something in it for themselves. You'll need to earn their trust. Rest easy. Can be real persuasive when I need to be. Zeal's good, but don't wreak havoc. Not too much, not yet. I need to arrange a safe passage to Washington for Myers. Expect my call soon, V. Thanks. For everything. Stay safe. And don't let the bastards get you. Same to you, V. May we meet again in more favorable circumstances. All right, I need to make some calls. Functional? Pipes seem bad, lands dry. Wonder where they lead.
Pan Am, hey. Hello, V.
Ugh. I'm starting to feel that stress go away. This is M54 News with a breaking development. Story of the teens abducted by M54. CPD officers are in need of rescue, and who but you could save those sworn to protect us? Now, these two little piggies went to market, struck a deal with one of Hanson's men, Dodger. What could go wrong, you think? Correct. Everything. Stella, the fiancé of one of our officers, will fill you in. Best of luck. down. Can't get spotted by Dodger's men. Wouldn't it be easier to just move the car? Folding the seats might not cut it. Listen, this is serious, okay? You don't mess with Dodger's people. Okay, <laughs> sure. Need your help with my fiancé, Bill, and his buddy, Charlie. They're trapped in the building across the street. Hans mentioned they're both NCPD. Both grade A gonks, too. Sometimes do side gigs around town. Wanted to cut a deal with Dodger, but things obviously went south. Bill called me from inside, said only that, and I quote, it's bad. And if I don't get help, Dodger will paint the walls with their brains. Why's Dodger got you all shaking at the knees? He's a dealer with close ties to Hanson. Total psycho, too. Moved to Dogtown to avoid serious prison time. Just please try not to wipe Dodger's men. You'll make things go from bad to worse. Take this access card. Dodger took over an abandoned NCPD precinct. Security systems are still up and running, so this should get you in without a hitch. Upsides of last-gen NCPD tech, huh? Save them. Please.
My right or your right? My fucking right! Hello? It's V, here to help you guys out. Finally! Bill's losing his fucking mind over here. Okay, let's try to get this open. Fucking slap this thing! Little help! Better step back. Jesus fucking Christ. I know. What the fuck? Don't worry. Not my blood. <laughs> the hell happened? Uh, better see for yourself. It's just through here. What in the... This is Bill. Hi. Who's your friend? Uh, who, me? Just told you, uh, I'm Bill. Thanks, Bill, got that. No, I mean the dead fucking body on the table you somehow failed to mention to Stella. We, we, we didn't kill him, okay? We, we, we swear. Hey, long as you're paying, I'm just looking at two innocent cops standing over a dead body. Go on. Tell him about your genius idea. My idea? You're the one who Plan set up the deal with was Dodger! was rock fucking solid! If only you didn't leave a bag of drugs in front of a junkie! How was I supposed to know he'd swallow it? Cut it out, fellas. Take me through what happened. Oh, you go! No, you! I swear to fucking God. Went like this. Choom over here clips Dodger's shit. Hightails it to NC. We catch wind, Dodger's put out a bounty to bag him. Bring back his nose candy. Bump right into him during a routine stop. Dumb fucking luck. Choom was carrying seven ounces of Sin Coke. So we cuffed him. Took him here. Choom swallowed seven whole ounces? That, that even possible? So we're here, waiting on Dodger, when Bill pops the baggie on the table like it's nothing. All of a sudden, this gonk turd yells, Fuck you, pigs, and stuffs the bag in his mouth. Could've had a food tube implant. Like a deep, wide throat? Yeah, like the one your mom's got. Fuck you even talking about, Bill. Why would he do that? Makes no sense. Fuck if I know. It's not like he made a list of pros and cons. Bag must have broke because he got all foamy at the mouth. Started spazzing out and then just croaked. That's when we started to panic. This fool gulped tens of thousands worth of eddies. What the fuck else are we supposed to do? Stella was right. You two are bona fide jackasses. We panicked, all right? Shit happens. <sighs> this... It's all gone. Dissolved. And now Dodger's gonna end us. So you bring him the thief who swiped his dope. Only now there's no thief. Or dope. Yeah. It's about the gist of it. You gotta help us get out of here. All right, let's get moving. One last tiny thing. Came here in our squad car and, uh, kinda need it back. Just keeps getting better. Where is it? In the garage. To the garage we it's go. It's official, V. Finally made it to the major leagues. League of first class leadheads, to be precise. Nice of you to join us, Johnny. Oh, is gonna you. kill me if she finds out what we did. I'm a dead man walking. Know what you could use? What? A nice big pair of balls. Oh, cause you're such a tough guy? Not like you stutter in front of the cap every fucking time. I don't fucking stutter. Let us through here before. What was the code again? 2893? It was 2983. Idiot, it was 2893. Saw him punch it. Go on. Didn't work. Ha! <laughs> 2983, I fucking told you. Dodger Scoop. Careful. Huh?
on, guys. Hey, this wasn't us, okay? There's a switch around here somewhere. Dodger will drown us in eddies, Bill. The plan is foolproof, Bill. Trust me, I know what I'm saying, Bill. <sighs> Shut up, Bill. So what if it's fucking Pacifica? What, too pussy to set foot there, Bill? Afraid of earning some serious scratch? Says the asshole who couldn't keep a bag in his fucking pocket. right through here. You do have them, don't you? The keys. Shit. Wait, don't tell me you left them upstairs. Chill, Chum. Got them right here. Fellas. Oh, I'm out early. We, uh, we can explain. Quiet. You, I don't know. Care to introduce yourself? Got hired by these two to help. Oh, <laughs> they look like they could use a hand, all right. One thing I can't put my finger on, though. What's that you got on your faces? A little ketchup? Run out of napkins? Uh, yeah, well, uh, no, not us, per se. You any better at speaking full sentence? Uh, um, uh, there was a shootout. A, a, a guy got hit. It was, it was bleeding out fast. After that, brought your stuff here. Uh, left it all upstairs. So, 
It's all good. Another smooth talker. All right. Third time's a charm. Is he spinning yarns? It's all true. Happened exactly as Bill said. That's unfortunate. See, I really don't like being made a fool of. Boys. Eat shit, psycho! Ugh. It's safe to come out. Dodger ain't breathing. Is it over? Yup. Nothing left but hop in your ride and flee the scene. I'm sure you can manage. That much. Thanks. So we going or what? Yeah, yeah. Hey, thanks again. Okay, I'll radio us in. Tell them we're back. Wait, I'll get Stella on the model first. <laughs> Spin yourself. If someone asks me one more time... Prickly today, are we? I'll make do without details. If the client is happy, then so am I. Contract closed. Talking to me? Looking at you, ain't I? Come on, we got like a situation. Look, vodka. Have a shot. Hanson gonna hang me by my cojones anyway. So what the hell? Name's Paco. This here's Babs. V. Okay, V. Let's drink to the sitch. Like, toast the mofo and hope he goes away.
Here's to drowning our worries. Here's to him drowning and never resurfacing. Fab says I fucked big time. But as I see it, like, no shit too deep, you know? What you think? Looking at someone who got out of neck deep shit, June. <laughs> Told you, Babs! You, Fucking Nova! That's the Vegas shit I ever heard. Who fucking cares? He did it, didn't he? It's a start. So, okay, can I start now? Keep your eyes peeled. What the hell? Weave your tail. Just Paco. Begging you. On the down low. Wall's got ears. Feel me? Ooh, wait. Let's do it right. Go for real feels, eh? Take a whiff. This deep dive. Gonna take you there live. Make you feel part of it. Day was tight as shit. My ticket to the majors, get me? Wanna feel it? Take a big whiff and listen. Oh, V. Okay. Okay, settle down to listen. So, picture this. My first day in Hansen's army. Waiting for the boss man, yeah? Legs shaking like jelly. Fuck! No! Imagine you Hansen himself. And you was pissed. You was super pissed Kurt Hansen himself. You wish to talk, so said the radio. Do you? Will you sort out the scab deal, or gonna fuck that up too? I don't know what you mean. They'll want to fuck us. We need to be prepared. Clear? Of course it's clear. Come now, this is rookie shit. I'm sick of the incompetence. Small fry business only till you prove yourself again. Then? Dead silence. Cause you know, Yuri and Kurt been in the army together. Militech dropped him here years ago, yeah? Oh, this little door is ready to get fucked good. And I'm standing there, waiting, lost. I actually shit myself a little. Babs is whispering, egging me on like, and I'm thinking, if he don't kill Yuri, he gonna kill me for sure. Do it, Kurt! Little bitch is Bring it, Grunt. For it. What? Best shot, come on, hit me! What's your name, kid? B Paco Torres! Wrong, your name's Mutt. But we'll make a hound out of you yet. Yes, sir. Fuck me, Paco. Quit making shit up. Psh, my story. <laughs> what good are you to me? I'm quick and and clever. Let me see it. Fight back, you little cut. Come on. And that dog knowed where to hit. I can still feel it in places. Pup will do. I can tell. I drive him around the block again. And we will. We will. Welcome to the pack, kiddo. <laughs> like hell he said that. You'll handle the next convoy. Let's see what you're made of. And I felt like born again, Chum. Blood running down my face. But I'm so happy I'm howling. And? You're keeping up? Attention all residents, this is Kurt Hansen. Enemy collaborator. Strong stuff. Makes me want to lay one on you myself. Give it a week, Chumba. 
Need to heal. Get in the smack and line, V. Ain't the end. Got his mission still coming. So listen, was one of those gigs, you know? Like guarding airdrops or transporting? I was protecting our convoy. Feeling the conclusion coming on. Also feeling things gonna turn out fucked. He probably gonna get lynched on a cable. Is how he gonna end. Transport he talking about was for scaffs. So shit got heated. Babs loves complaining. But the opportunity looked real, real good. To the end. Hmm. Give me another whiff of the dive. So we drive in, right? Boss man himself next to me. Suddenly, tires screeching, and I'm thinking, Mierda, esto se sale de madre. Motherfuckers. Get me, Manu? He saw it all coming. That's why he went with me. smell of blood in the air. Massacre. We have a groaner still breathing. Sure to tell us something interesting. Dirty fucking rats. At least the kid showed some teeth. Not half bad. You got something. Weren't lying about being quick, kiddo. Good work stomping these rats. You will not get away with this! All right. The goods go back to the Sapphire. Just be careful, kid. Yuri and I gotta ask our scav friend some questions. Attention all residents, this is Kurt Keep listening, V. What this podcast did next is a story I've been waiting for. Okay, so listen. Before we left, Yuri gave me a list. No power generators there. I look into the truck, and what's there? Generators. Yeah, Yuri probably grabbed some on the side. Wanted to hawk him off for a quick eddy after the scav shit show. And this dumbass thought if he snatched and sold him, he'd be set for a year. They're checking to see if he's cool. He straight up robs him. Only idiots say no to opportunity, Babs. 
So, what'd you do with this opportunity? Uh, well, shit. Sold them to a guy. Said he had a client in India. Probably being shipped. Can wave him adios. Oh, they're gonna kill him, right? Fuck. And me in the bargain? Come on, I see you thinking good. Can you help, brother? Sure can help you. Advice don't come free, though. Yeah, yeah. We got scratched, Chum. Might have an idea, yeah. Gonna pull strings, call in favors. See if I can't make some generators appear. Or get us transport so we can disappear out there past the horizon. Cogs are grinding. Give me a little time. So, you manage, figure something out? Got an NCPD contact. You're in luck. Said he could arrange generators. Dumpster beside Coronado Bay Movie Theater. All clear? Oh, fuck! Really, V? Just like that? Nothing happens just like that, you web of favors. I don't know how it went. Amen to that. Said any contact deeds. You know. Just in case. Keep your eyes peeled. You see anything suspicious? Report. Hey, hey. Hey, I'm back in town. What's your status? Sniffed around, did some side gigs. No word. No sign of our runner friend. Then we redouble the effort, all right? Had another pair of eyes. Alex, former team member. She's in Dogtown, under deep cover. She'll help out. Roger that. Got an address? Longshore Stacks, a dive bar called the Moth. After sundown, yeah? Got it. And sense is trained on any potential shadows. 